Hey you guys, Misty here today. I've got two books to show you guys. This is the newest book uh, by Such and Such Diva, 100 Easy Mandalas, Volume 1. I'm going to do a flip for you guys. Here you have this book belongs to page. And then you have your uh, basic color chart. It's always good it's the same color so it makes it a whole lot easier to do and i love the way the book's laid out and the way this is made here this is really nice so here's our first page right here i think mandela's would be a whole lot easier to do as color by number in a long run this is pretty and unique. Really pretty one there. That's pretty. And these look really simple to do so they wouldn't be too hard to color. And I like the idea is easy mandalas because the hard ones are always harder to do. And I do prefer easy mandalas if I had to do one. But some, some books you get, the mandalas are really hard really hard to do takes a long time i like the layout of the book i like the cover of the book this is really pretty here this is a beautiful one to do i like the way the star is here in the middle that's really nice Oh, I love this one. That's really nice there. That's a unique one. All the lines around here would be fun to do. Fun to color. That's beautiful. We have, uh, let's see, eight is green. We have some green in here. We have 15 is magenta. Have some magenta, some pink. This will be really fun to do. Yeah, 13. We have some purple. All pretty colors in that one. I'll probably color this one first. Oh, I like that. That's different. This is the first time I'm looking at the book with you guys. I, lo I love this right here in the center here. Never really tried gel pens on mandalas. Mostly what I use is markers. Hardly ever any gel pens. I like there's a lot in here too to pick from. I can see some hearts here. Oh, that's different. Nice. Yeah, I love this. A lot of good ones in here to do. Unique pattern for a mandala. This would also be neat for a pattern, you know, to cover a page with this, all this design here. Of the pattern. I also like the way the mandel is right in the center of the page and it just looks good that way right in the center where it's at. Oh, it looks really nice. Professional looking. Really good. Some books you see the mandalas don't look right. They don't look good. Like a, a lot of the page is white and then there's just a small area of a mandela up top. So I do like the way this is, right in the middle. Oh, 
Ooh, that's pretty. That would be fun to color. It looks like it would be an easy one. Right here in the center, we've got a, let's see, 12 is light blue and 11 is turquoise. This reminds me of shells. Leaves or shells. Well, more like leaves. Yeah, it's leaves. And then here's a flower. Okay. Yeah, it looks more like leaves. Now that I'm looking more at it. I love this book. It's really good. It's a really good book. I love, like I said, I love the idea. Easy Mandela's. Very good. We need something that's easy to kick back and relax with in these hard times when there's so much trouble in the world. Something to take our mind off of things. Pretty. That's real pretty. Pretty picture. I also like the fact that all these is in one book instead of several books. They're all in one, one book to buy. I like that one too. That's pretty. Paper feels good. Like this. Also, like that, there's not repeating images like on these mandalas. There's a variety of different images to do, which is good instead of repeating images those are different things this is really nice here too it's pretty I like the circle, the way it's circled in. First thing that I, your eye goes to is this right here, this area. So, butterflies. I do like the, I do like this one where the, it's the same image, but it's nice that they're all in one area instead of spread out. So that's a good idea. They're all in one little area, the same images. These little dots here would be fun to do. I would probably color the dots first. Pretty. That's yeah, pretty. Really cute. I love it. Yeah, it's nice.
I like that. Different. That'd be fun to color. A lot in here that'll be fun to color. That's cute. I said I like the feel of the paper in the book. That's pretty too. I like this. Kind of reminds you of a plate. The way a plate is. Levi, you're going to have to get on my shoulder. I like it. See, I like the way this is just small and simple. It's really nice to have just a simple image in the center. That's really nice. This is pretty right here. This is really beautiful. This is cute. This is a good one. Definitely will be coloring in this book. I love it. That's pretty too. That's really pretty. Beautiful. I'll be watching some gun smoke while I color in this book. Can't watch the Johnny Depp trial now because it's over. So, gotta find something to watch. I've got my gun smoke on DVDs. So that I watch, usually listen to those while I color, so I'm gonna watch YouTube. Oh, there we go. There's a cute, uh, cute picture right there. I love the candles in the picture. It's really nice. We have a little vampire. There's a good little Christmas one, too, for Christmas in July, which is next month already. Already next month. This reminds me of a snowflake. I'm going to put you in the floor, Levi. There's a good Christmas one. Here we have a cute Halloween one in here. So we have a cute Halloween one to color and a Christmas one. I look forward to seeing your books this year, Satch, and your Halloween books. Your books and Prati's Halloween and Christmas books. I really look forward to that because I love them. I love the way the little fish are. That's really pretty, the little fish. Okay, and it says right here, it says, you should feel beautiful and you should feel safe. What you surround yourself with should bring you peace of mind and peace of spirit. Stacy London. And please leave uh, whatever books you get, please leave the artist's review because that always helps the artist. So this is uh, 100 Easy Mandela's Color by Number, Such and Such Diva, Volume 1. Beautiful cover. Here's how the back looks right here. 
And I also got um, Coco Wise new book, Volume 2, uh, Tiny World. I colored one in here this morning. And you can access the free digital coloring book. Go to CocoaWild.com. Go to free and click download my free book. And we have our This Book Belongs To page. I'm going to zoom in a little bit for you guys. This, this book has some really cute images to color. And I like how the drawings is simple. Everything you can see, what you can understand what it is. And everything's combined in a small area. But you can tell what everything is. Some books I get where you have smaller images. It's hard to make out what things are. But this makes it really more fun, I think. Because you can tell what every image is. And it's easier to color. Oh, Levi. You want to come up here now? Mostly, I'm going to use gel pens in this book and maybe a few markers. This is really pretty with a fish. It's a really pretty picture. Well, this is a beautiful picture right here. Isn't that just pretty? The way everything's right here in the center. And you have just a little bit background. I like how there's a larger image of this instead of a smaller one. So this is really good like this. Really pretty book. I like it. I really like it. I look forward to coloring this book. A lot of nice images in here. Isn't that pretty? See the little chair right here? Isn't that pretty? We have a cute little door. Some little fish here. I think the one I colored is toward the very back. I used some eyeshadow for the background. Love that one too. That's really nice. Good. This is a good book to color in. Here we have some cute pumpkins. I like the way the sun is. That's pretty. See, I like the way all this is right here on this side, and you don't have much detail around here, just the pretty sky to, to color in. If you wanted to color it in, you could, or leave it white, whichever you prefer. Here we have some ice cream and a strawberry. Yeah, that's really nice there, isn't it? That's like a gingerbread house. Ooh, that's nice. I like the cactuses. That's what stands out to me the most is the cactuses. Beautiful drawings. Absolutely gorgeous. Unique drawings. <laughs> Look here. Here we have a cute little toilet right here. Here we have a toilet and a little table. A ladder going up to the bed. A little stove. Just a lot, a lot of cute things in one spot. One area.
I'm going to look forward to coloring in this book. Here we have a lot of different things in here. Lamps and books. cute items there to color a little tv and some books and a clock on the wall some pictures a little band table and chairs but it, it's all combined and it would be fun to color it's not too detailed everything's just together and you find that it's not too bad coloring the items it's pretty easy doesn't take long to color a picture i color the picture i colored this morning took me probably about an hour and I thought it would take longer, but it did. And I used some gel pens and marker on it. Take too long to color. I like the little turtle there in the picture. That's beautiful. And it's just simple what I like. It's not too detailed. Everything's combined in one area. I did this one right here today. I used uh, Rayon Glitter Gel Pens and Colored Gel Pens. I used a marker right in here. And then I used some eyeshadow. Now, I, did, I have to admit, I did have a hard time figuring out what color to color the house. That's the only thing I dreaded. And I did the house the last. And I did everything, all this I did before I colored the house. Um, but I had, a, I had a really good time coloring this picture. And plus, adding eyeshadow was really fun. So, everything's just combined in one little area. This was really fun to do. I really had fun coloring this picture. And you can see the shine too. It's real pretty and shiny. I would recommend using, uh, it's whatever you prefer guys, but I would, I would recommend using some glitter gel pens on the, on these pictures and maybe just a hint of marker. Um, the eyeshadow to me does add character to the picture. It really does. So there you go, guys. Guys, there's the books I got to show you guys. And thank you all so much. I love you all very much. And I'll be back again. Have a good day, everybody.